we're going to do a short recording of QuickBooks desktop plugin installation. A few things to note before beginning the plugin installation. Um, you will need to be using a current version of QuickBooks desktop. That's 2016 through 2019. Now it doesn't matter if you're using Premier, Enterprise, Nonprofit, Pro, et cetera. Uh, all of those will work as long as they're in the 2016 to 2019 range. You need QuickBooks desktop installed on either your local machine or your network. If it's on your network, you probably need your IT person to help you with the installation of the plugin. If you're in a hosted QuickBooks desktop version through right networks or in sync or cloud nine or one of the other hosting partners through Intuit, you will probably want to use the web connector instead of the QuickBooks desktop plugin. You want to make sure you've turned off your firewall and antivirus before proceeding with the plugin. You need to be an administrative user on your PC or on the network where you're installing the plugin. And you need to be an administrative user in QuickBooks Desktop as well. And then before you do the installation, you need to make sure all of your QuickBooks Desktop instances and related applications are closed before downloading and installing the plugin. I'm going to start from Tax 1099 to complete this process. I'm on the dashboard here. I'm going to go to Import and QuickBooks Desktop. There's going to be a short workflow question that is going to take you through the same questions that I just went through. If you already know that you want to use the plugin and are ready, you can click this I'm an existing client and know the process and click exit. For me, I'm going to go through the questions just so you can see what they look like. The first question is going to say, are you using one of those current versions? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say no, I'm not on a firewall or proxy server. I'm going to say no, I'm not in a hosted environment. I'm going to say yes, I have administrator privileges. And yes, I'm an administrative user. And then yes, I have access to the PC or server where QuickBooks desktop is installed. It's right here on this machine. Then I'm going to click OK. And it's going to take me into the QuickBooks desktop plugin. I'm going to click the button here to download the services and instructions. You'll notice it's downloading a zip file for me here. Once the zip file completes its download, I'm going to open the zip file and extract those files. So here's my QuickBooks plugin zip file. I'm going to click extract and extract all. And I'll leave it where it's directing me. And then I'm going to show the extracted files when complete. When I click extract, it's going to extract those files and it's going to take me into the open folder. This is the extracted files that I was looking at. Once inside the QuickBooks plugin folder, I have two items. I have the application item, and then I have a PDF file that's a user guide. Uh, the user guide takes you through the same steps that I'm going to be taking you through. Please open that on your computer as you're walking through. It will give you some nice snapshots of what to expect when you're going through this process. But I'm just going to go through the process. I'm going to double click to run this executable file. I'll get a pop-up window asking me if I want to allow changes to be made. I need to say yes. This is where being the administrator of the PC comes in. Then I'm simply going to click through the prompts to install the Text 1099 plugin. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to accept the location and click Next. I'm going to click Install. And it's going to walk me through this process. And then I'm going to get this finish option. You'll notice this certificate screen that comes up. This is what you'll want to look for when you open QuickBooks Desktop for the first time, which I'm going to do here in just a moment. Uh, you, if you've loaded the plugin on a previous occasion, you may not get this screen since you may have already accepted this certificate. But if you have not, then you should get the screen and need to accept that certificate. I'm going to click finish. And then I'm going to go down to my desktop and I'm going to open up my QuickBooks desktop. So when you're here, you'll see I'm running QuickBooks Premier Accountant Edition 2018. The first time that you open QuickBooks desktop after installing the plugin, you'll want to right click and you'll want to choose the run as administrator option. Again, have to be an administrator on my local machine. Also have to be an admin in QuickBooks in order to install this. I'm going to say yes and it's going to open QuickBooks for me. I'm gonna open the company file here. If you have multiple company files, you can open any that you choose. 
This is a sample company file, so I'm going to open this one. I'm going to get a message about it being a sample file. You obviously won't get that if you're working in a live company file. And then as QuickBooks desktop loads here, you'll see the information uh, loading up. I'll be able to tell if the plugin was installed by going to my vendors menu and checking for this menu option here, text1099.com e-file. And that's how I'll be able to go through the process to upload my 1099s. Uh, you certainly may want to run your 1099 wizard before going through the process. I'm just going to show you what it would look like to run through the process. I'm gonna use the 2018 tax year. I'm gonna click login. And that's going to kick off the process for running the plugin. It'll review my vendors. It'll let me know what vendors are going to be brought over. And then it will open into Tax 1099. I was already logged into Tax 1099, so it didn't prompt me for user ID and password. But if you aren't logged into Tax 1099, you will be prompted for the user ID and password. And then you simply review to make sure everything came over. You've got your green dots showing that you have all the information available. You see a red dot somewhere, that means something's missing, like a social security number or a zip code in one of your uh, vendors or even in your company. I've got everything just fine here, so I'm gonna select all, click next. And my two forms will be loaded in. I'll get two out of two records were uploaded successfully. Uh, from that point, you're able to go in and do the filing as you may need to. Uh, you'll see that I have some extra ones here because I've done this a couple of different times lately. And so you can see that I've got some different, um, I've got some different providers or some different vendors that have been um, pushed in here. Uh, but if you uh, run your QuickBooks plugin, um, install your QuickBooks plugin and run it just like I showed you there, uh, you'll be able to go through the process to import your data from QuickBooks Desktop to Text 1099.